This is a gets video on one of those little car uh, remote starter thingamajigs slash car alarms. Um, this particular unit uh, got inadvertently tripped and dragged down the battery in my car so that it wouldn't start so I just yanked it out of service and now it's going to be famous slash infamous on the internet. Internally it's mostly passives and um, things like uh, diodes. There are um, four integrated circuits on the board, two of which, well five if you count a little potential regular which I'll get to later, uh, two of which I cannot identify. There's this big uh, I think DIP28 package device. It's marked K783 and it was made in week 20 of 1994 and there's either a lot or a shift code F at the end of the date code. This thing was made circa 1994-1995, judging by the uh, date codes and all the parts in it. Then there's a, um, on the bottom here, which is most likely some kind of a monolithic um, radio receiver uh, slash signal decoder, is an AI32DA, and then two what are either O's or zeros. So it's either AI32DA00 or AI32DA00, one of the two, can't really tell from the uh, printing font. Then the two chips that are identifiable, there's an LMC358 uh, dual operational amplifier, uh, most likely for signal amplification. And on the top there is, that's that little DIP8 device right there. And on the top there is a ULN2003 uh, Darlington uh, transistor array. There's uh, seven Darlington transistor pairs in there, most likely for, almost certainly for um, uh, various signal driving because some of the pins go to or some of the pins on it connect to what are most likely uh, external devices like uh, speakers or remote switches or something don't really know because I I'm not personally the one who yanked the thing out of service then on the bottom there's this big uh, hitter this is what this is what actually wire interfaces with the uh, wiring loom that is installed in the vehicle when the thing is um, put in and there's this on this length of a cord is a little T1 and 3 quarter red LED. Possibly super bright because this is was made when super bright uh, LEDs were coming into vogue. And it's most likely a super bright LED, although I haven't tested this yet. They're just being hideously underdriven so that it uses virtually no electricity while be having comparable brightness to a typical indicator LED. Then there are a uh, uh, five switch uh, dip switch and a couple of uh, jumpers there for uh, setting configurations. When in the case they're accessible by means of this little slide out door. That tie wrap is just what was holding the thing in place although it's designed for screws. But anyways. And a bunch of diodes for um, reverse signal protection. Those are mostly for uh, things that go to that header, from at least from what I can determine on the schematic. Then other stuff. There's just little 780, 780L05 uh, five volt potential regulator there. Couple of uh, transistors, mostly 2SC94. There's some. There's a 2SC. There's a couple of 2SC945s. A 2SC9012, that's what those two are. Then what is a KSC2955, which is, I think, a, uh, if I recall correctly, I think that's a bipolar power transistor. Don't recall whether or not it's NPN or PNP. If it isn't, I'll put in a little annotation. And a couple of BE424 transistors there, most likely, I think. Uh, RF optimized because those are in the uh, RF receiver section. This is just a little wire an wire antenna that gets a, a signal from the keychains. And other than that, there's a little uh, Takamisawa relay, week 26 to 1994. This is standard little printed circuit board mount, uh, uh, like an ice cube relay, but uh, in trans, uh, in a 
in opaque plastic. And that's about it, just your add nothing on the underside of note. Aside from a little bit right there which looks like an egg cut in half, often what that is is so that for a certain mode or something during manufacture that could be manually uh, solder bridged over. So you'll occasionally see things like that on printed circuit boards. But that's about the only thing of interest on the bottom and then there's just a couple uh, quality control stickers and part number stickers like this one is 311366A. That was originally on top of this uh, DIP28 device covering over the part number. There's a little OK4H, that's just a little another QC sticker and etched into the board and on the silk screen is K301A. That's obviously a part number or something, so that's just what's inside one of these stupid things.